hey good morning welcome back to my channel y'all got your girl up on juneteenth <sighs> it's like probably not even nine o'clock yet at this point but i promised that i would film this review and demo of the new products from pattern beauty that she's releasing today on juneteenth no this video is not sponsored actually what happened was um one of my friends in the group chat sent um, an Instagram photo of like new products at Ulta. I think from like Trend Mood or something. I'm probably getting the whole Instagram name wrong. But anyway, so I saw in the picture that Pattern Beauty was releasing a few new products. Now in that post, it, um, it said that they were releasing like a clarifying shampoo, two gels. One was like a regular gel and the other one was like a strong gel and um a edge control so i went i quickly went on ulta and i bought one of the newer products because i just felt like i didn't need an edge control i didn't need the regular gel I, and i got it off of ulta so what happened was i placed my order they took my money and it was shipped and then I went back on the Ulta website and the products were gone. So somebody must have mistakenly um, put the products on there. But either way, at that time, I already got my shipping confirmation. So I also ordered another leave-in conditioner because I've tried this before. I feel like I've mentioned it on this channel, but I never really like gave a review or like even showed y'all how it worked in my hair. So uh, this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be using these two products in my wash and go this morning because I have things to do today. I have places to go and I've already clocked in at work. <laughs> So um, we're gonna get this going. So my hair has been freshly washed and deep conditioned and it's grown a lot. Um, if you're asking how I've taken care of my hair in, uh, during this whole pandemic quarantine, I've legit just been living in twist outs and braid outs. Like I'll just put in a ton of twist in my head and I'll leave it in because I'm still dealing with like a lot of postpartum shedding. So if you have any tips or tricks so this shedding can like stop and decrease, like even now when I run my fingers through my hair, it's just, it's just coming out. So that's what I'll be doing today. So I'm gonna kind of like talk through this somewhat, but also at the same time, I'm going to just um, quickly you know, run through this video. So I'm gonna be using Soleil scrunchies because why not? That is why you have kids. So you can use their things and they can fetch the remote control for you. So yeah, so right now I'm just going to resection, well not resection, I'm gonna section my hair and it's slightly like dry because I was trying to get this whole like setup going on. But anyway, so Let's see, so I'm just gonna start in the back like I always do. Also, these products are not like fully, fully natural. Like there's a lot of scientific ingredients, which is fine. Y'all know I'm not really ingredient conscious. So I'm just going to, I feel like my spray nozzle isn't on the right, there we go. It wasn't on the right stream of water. So I'm just gonna re-wet my hair. And I like to like thoroughly like wet it. Cause I feel like products don't work best on like damp hair. I feel like your hair has to be like fully wet. So let me know if y'all like the background too. This is temporary. <laughs> um, Cause it's not gonna be like this for much longer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. And um, I'm going to use a generous amount cause I am working in a bigger section. And I always like put the leave-in up here, like on the crown of my head, because, you know, I get a little bit of frizz up here now. So just work this leave-in all through. And as you can see, the leave-in has a ton of slip and it immediately defined my hair, see? Which y'all could be like, y'all probably be like, oh, you know, your hair doesn't take much, but trust me, this has a lot of slip in this. I'm gonna work it in. I think I should be good. 
And you can also use this leave-in on its own. I've done that before. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more. You can also use this leave-in, like I said, on its own because it does have like a soft hold to it. And I think I did that last year when it first came out. I think it came, I think Pattern Beauty debuted last year. I remember I had just gave birth and this line came out and I grabbed uh, some of their other products that, I, that was just okay. But I think my go-to now is just to leave it. They do have a styling cream coming out today too. So if I get this video up in time, which I probably won't, I'm gonna try to diffuse my hair before I leave uh, this morning. So um, if I like this, I'll get another gel and I'll get the styling cream and then we'll do a video for that. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna wet this section. I always do that for my wash and goes and any type of style that I do. Oh, my hair. So now I'm gonna go in with the Pattern Beauty Gel. This one is the Stronghold one. There's just the styling gel and then it's the Stronghold styling gel. So as far as like, the um, consistency goes. It reminds me of like the Eagle Styler Crystal. It's clear, it's white, it has like a little thickness to it. Like I could hold it over like that, nothing comes out. So I'm going to take a generous amount and I'm gonna work it in my hand like so. Okay. It's going on like kind of how like Eagle Styler does. Like it is, I guess it's just the thickness of the gel. And that's how it reminds me as it just is working it through. So hopefully this does have a stronghold because y'all know me, I like my hair to have a little crunch to it. Um, I like I prefer stronger holding gels because like, even if I do like a twist out or braid out, even if I don't take my hair out, I at least want the hold to last for like, you know, two days or more. That's like my ideal gel. So hopefully, this gel does that because it does say strong. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm just gonna apply it here and like on my root, not my root, my crown. And um, yeah, so it looks like these products work well together. Like it foams up a little bit, but that's fine. I feel like that will dry down pretty, you know, I think it'll dry down fine, but okay. Okay, we'll see. So now I wanna do the rest of my head and I will come back and we'll see how my hair looks afterwards. finish applying both of the products to my hair, my head, hair, head, same thing. So I've finished applying both of the products and um, now what, we're, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to stop this of course and I'm going to go and diffuse my hair. If you're curious on how I do that, I will post a little eye card above and you watch one of my older videos on how I diffuse it. I do it a little differently now. I don't use the actual like diffuser like the piece that goes on the dryer I just use like the blow dryer and I like hold it from my head and that's how I diffuse my hair it works for me it's really fast I don't have to you know bend over and scrunch and do all that stuff so um like I said so so far so good like I said it does foam up a little bit but it does kind of like it's starting to dry down like clear. So I'm not worrying about like a residue. So as far as with pricing goes, just to say it now, this is $25. They do have a travel size, which is about nine or $10, but that's how much it was on Ulta. I don't know if it'll be the same on the pattern site, but um, this was 25 bucks. And it's like I said before, I'm not sure how much, um, I'm not sure how much this will cost on the Pattern Beauty site, but um, it was 25 on Ulta. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to diffuse my hair, then I'm going to come back 
and show y'all the results before I leave and give a quick review. But so far, I mean, the definition looks really, let me get closer to this. The definition looks really good. Um, it's drying down, like there's no real problems. So I don't know, we'll see if it's stronghold like she says. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been hours later. I done went outside. I done been in the heat. I done whatever. So this is my hair fully dry with the pattern um, the leave-in conditioner and the new Stronghold gel. So like the leave-in, I don't mind the leave-in. It's not like one of the best ones that I've tried, but I don't mind picking it up um, clearly because I did. Um, if I want to use it on its own, I know I can use it on its own. It works best with like my curl maker gel, my the main choice, Cheers Gelato. So I like the fact that I can use it with other gels to like, you know, get the lasting hold and definition that I want. So I'm going to just zoom in close. And this is what my hair is. It's a little frizzy because like I said, it, I've been outside. I've been in the heat. I've, I've just been outside. So my overall thoughts on this product it's not good but it ain't bad it's not something where i just regret purchasing i feel like this gel could can be improved on as far as like withhold because for me when you put out a gel and you say stronghold like it says it says stronghold so i feel like when you put out a gel with that title i expect the gel to have a firm hold I don't know what's up with these companies when they make gels. I guess my expectations is like the curl maker type of hold. Like I'm expecting that crunchiness. I'm expecting that to last for a day or two. That's what I'm expecting for gels. This does not give me the crunchiness like the curl maker. Like it has like this soft medium hold. Like the gel cast is gone. Um, it broke on its own, but I can still feel a little bit of the gel cast. So I just feel like it could be it could be improved on. I would change the label to say soft medium hold, and then the regular gel that they have can just be like soft hold, or this one can be like medium, and then they could have a third one that says extreme like hold. I don't know. I, I just, that's my only like issue when um, com hair companies put out gels. It's like they could, they could make like a bomb leave it conditioner, deep conditioner, cute little styling cream. They could make all of that stuff. But when it comes to gels, companies don't really know how to like do a gel gel. So I don't regret purchasing it. It's not bad, but it's not good. Uh, will I use it again? I'll probably use it for more of like a fluffy braid out or twist out kind of thing just based off like the hold and how my hair looks and feels. But I do have like volume. I do have slight frizz. I don't want to say that's because of the gel. I just want to say that's because of like it's 83 degrees right now. But overall, like my hair doesn't feel dry. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like there's no life in it. It's just there's really no hold for me. But if I'm going for like that big fluffy look, then this is definitely something that I would continue to use. Like I said, it's not bad. I don't hate it, but I don't love it at the same time. It's kind of just that meh, if it's there and I'm just going for a certain look, if I'm looking for like day three hair on day one, then I would, you know, use this. But um, like I said, I'm gonna try it for a twist out and see if I like it better that way, see if it's gonna give me the same kind of results. But like I said, um, if you're one of those naturals who just don't like crunchy gels, then this is definitely for you. If you have like a 3C, 3A and above type of texture, then you would definitely like this. My hair is like a mixture of like 3C, whatever. Um, yeah, or or even if you are in the type four category, if you do hair type and you want to use this gel for like a big fluffy style, you could definitely do that with this. Um, but like I said, it's $25. I checked the Pattern Beauty website um, probably about 
20 minutes ago. And all the products are there, including the styling cream. I don't know yet if I'm gonna get the styling cream, at least not the big size. I'll probably get the little travel $9 one and uh, keep it pushing. But that is my video. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you tried any pattern beauty, what do you particularly like? Like I said, um, I'm just like in between, like I don't wanna say I don't like it because I'm gonna use it again, but I don't wanna say that I don't like it. I just don't like the fact that it doesn't really have the hold that I'm that I'm looking for. But um, yeah, like I said, my hair isn't bad. It's not the way the lighting, it's not bad. So I'm just gonna, oops, just gonna turn around so y'all can see the back and then y'all can make the judge for yourself. So like I said, it's not bad, it's just, my hair is a lot more fluffier than what I tend to like, but I have to remember it's about to be summer. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like, like in the back. I'll, when I can uh, edit the video, I'll be able to, you know, see. But for the most part, yeah. Um, so that is my review on the new pattern beauty. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you do eventually try this gel or the other one, let me know how you use it, your thoughts on it, and I will see you all when I see you. But I will talk to y'all in another video.